Welcome to Sidza.com. In this video, we will learn about how to calculate the radius of the orbit in a Bohr atom. The radius of uh, the orbit is equal to 0.529 times n squared by z squared angstrom. So you can see here from this equation, the radius of the orbit depends on the n value, the, the shell number, right? And it is inversely proportional to the atomic number. And as we have learned that the Bohr's postulates, these are only applicable for the single electron systems, like, you know, hydrogen, so helium positive, lithium two positive, so only the single electron you know, species. And we can use this equation also for only the single electron species. So you can see here that as the radius of, you know, as the n value increases, so this is the n1, this is n2, n3. If you look at this equation here, it says that the radius of an orbit depends on the n value, the, you know, this uh, uh, stationary orbit, right? If it's the first stationary orbit, first energy level, okay, the second energy level, so as the n value increases, the radius of an orbit also increases. And if, you know, the nuclear charge increases here, attraction will be more. So hence, if attraction increases, therefore the radius will decrease. So let's calculate for the hydrogen atom. The radius of the first orbit of the hydrogen atom will be equal to 0 0.529 times 1 square is 1, atomic number of the hydrogen is 1, so it will be 0 0.529 angstroms. So this is the radius of the first orbit for the hydrogen atom. And the radius of the second orbit for the hydrogen atom will be 0 0.529 times n square, so that means it will be 2 square, so that is 4 divided by the 1, so it is, you can say that the radius of the second orbit of the hydrogen atom is four times the radius of the first orbit. So this is the R1 here, and this is our R2. Now if you want to calculate the radius of the third orbit, so this will be the third orbit radius, this is the R3 here, so the radius of the third orbit will be equal to 0 0.529 times 9 square. 3 squared that is 9 angstroms. So we can say it is, you know, 9 times than the radius of the first orbit. R3 is 9 times more than the radius of the first orbit. And similarly, we can also find it for the fourth orbit and fifth and go on. So you can see that the fourth orbit will be 0 0.529 times. So it is 16, 4 squared is 16 angstroms. Now if you want to calculate it for the helium ion. Helium ion, you know, we know its atomic number is 2. For the helium, the atomic number is 2 here. So therefore, the radius of the first orbit of the helium ion will be equal to 0 0.529 into 1 square, that's 1, divided by the atomic number 2, right? Because helium with the atomic number 2, angstroms. So we can say here, if you compare the radius of the first orbit of helium ion and the radius of the first orbit of the hydrogen, you can see that, you know, the relation is 1 by 2. Helium ion has a half the radius of the first orbit of the hydrogen, which is called as a Bohr radius. You know, this amount of the distance is called as a Bohr radius, right? This is called as a Bohr radius. So we can say here that the radius of the first orbit of the helium ion is 1 by 2 times the Bohr radius. 1 by 2 times the Bohr radius. It's less. Why it will be less? Because helium, you know, it's, it contains two protons. So nuclear charge is more, attraction will be more, electron will be closer to the nucleus. So that's why the radius in case of helium ion will be less than the uh, radius of the first orbit of the hydrogen atom. So similarly, we can calculate for the helium ion, uh, for the other radius, you know, uh, atomic radiuses, suppose R2 of the helium ion will be then equal to, it will be 0 0.529 times, so 2 squared that is 4, divided by atomic number is 2, angstrom. So if you simplify it, it will be 2 times, right? 2, 1, and this is 2, 2, so this is 2 times. 2 times the 0 0.529 angstroms. Similarly, the radius of the third orbit of the helium ion will be 0 0.529 times 9, divided by 2 angstroms. Okay, so radius of the fourth orbit 
of the helium ion will be 0 0.529 times 16 by 2 angstroms. Now let's compare the different radius. Suppose I want to compare the first orbit and the second orbit of the hydrogen. So what will be the ratio here? The ratio between the second orbit, the R2 of the hydrogen atom and the R1 of the hydrogen. What will be the ratio? It will be 0 0.529 times 4 divided by 0 0.529. So it will be 4. Okay. So we can say here, we can get a conclusion that the radius of the second orbit of the hydrogen is 4 times the radius of the first orbit of the hydrogen. R2 is 4 times R1. Similarly, you can calculate, you can find the radius of the third orbit and the second orbit. So the R3 and R2 of the same atom, hydrogen atom, the ratio will be 9 by 4, okay, which is 2.25. So you can say the radius of the third orbit of hydrogen is 2.25. 2.5 times the radius of the second orbit of the hydrogen. Similarly, you can compare it between the radius of the first orbit of the helium and the second. Again, you can do the same thing, right? You can say R2 will be equal, you know, R2 by R1. For the helium ion, right? For the helium ion, the ratio will be R2 and R1, it will be 0 0.529, 4 by 2, divided by 0 0.529 times 1 by 2, so it will come out to be, when you solve it, it will, you know, it will be like two times, right? It will be two. Four by two, which is equal to R2 is equal to two times the R1. So that means the radius of the second orbit of the, you know, the helium ion is two times the radius of the first orbit of the hydrogen. Here you can see the difference. The R2 of, you know, of hydrogen is four times the radius of the first orbit. Of the hydrogen. R2 of helium ion is only two times you know more than the radius of the first orbit. So here the difference is more, here the difference is less. And that's just because of the atomic number. Okay? And now suppose if you have to compare, you want to compare between the two different you know uh, the uh, atoms. For example, you want to compare between the radius of the first orbit of the hydrogen atom and the uh, radius of the second orbit of the helium ion. So what will be the ratio? How to find the ratio? Okay. So if you want to calculate between these two, I can write it like this. R1 of hydrogen, radius of the first orbit of the hydrogen and the radius of the second orbit of the helium ion. So what will be the ratio? The ratio will be, you can say 0 0.529 angstroms divided by 0 0.529 and 4 by 2. So then it will come out to be, you know, it will, when you simplify it, it will be the 2 by 4. Okay, so it will be 1 by 2. Which will be equal to, you can see the radius of the first orbit of the hydrogen is equal to 0 0.5 times the radius of the second orbit of the helium ion. If you want to calculate, if you want to find the ratio between the two different atoms between the radius of you know the atom A and the atom B. Suppose you have two you know different atoms A and the B, both are single electron, you know, single electron species, and you want to find out the ratio between the radius of the suppose radius of the nth orbit of the atom A and the radius of the nth orbit of the B. So these are the two different atoms, you know, just like we learned between hydrogen and the helium. If you want to find it for any two atoms, right? So what how can we find it? The formula you know, when you look at the equation, this one, you can see 0 0.529, it will be cancelled out. So what you will left? You will be left with the n number of the, you know, orbit of the atom A, n A square, divided by n B square, times atomic number of the atom B, divided by the atomic number of the atom A. This equation tells us, you know, how to find the ratio between the two atoms. Suppose I want to find out what is the relation between the radius of the second orbit of hydrogen and the radius of the second orbit or let's say the third orbit of the helium ion. So what will be the ratio between the R2 of hydrogen and the R3 of you know the helium? So the ratio according to this equation you can just see over here I have to just put the n values and the atomic number. For hydrogen, it is, you know, you can say R2 by R3, 
the ratio will be the radius of the second orbit of the hydrogen and the radius of the third orbit of the helium the ratio will be Na which is you know here the 2 square for hydrogen it is A 2 square so it is 4 time is atomic number of the helium ion is 2 divided by Nb so the radius of the third orbit which is 3 square here time is the atomic number of the hydrogen here which is 1 okay so you can say it is 4 into 2 by 9 so it is 8 by 9 right so you can say the radius of the second orbit of the hydrogen you know r2 of hydrogen is 8 by 9 time is the radius of the third orbit of the helium ion okay so radius of the second orbit of the hydrogen is 8 by 9 time is the radius of the third orbit of the helium ion now let's do this you know simple question we have to calculate the radius of the bohr Bohr's fifth orbit of the hydrogen. So that means we want to find out the Rn, R5, radius of the fifth orbit of the hydrogen. For hydrogen, the atomic number is 1, so it will be 0 0.529 times n square, which is 5, so it is it will be 25 angstroms. Correct? So it will be 13.225 angstroms. Next question, which state of the triply ionized beryllium ion, Be 3 positive ion, has the same orbital radius as that of the ground state of the hydrogen? So we have to find out the, you know, the n value of the beryllium 3 positive. We have a beryllium with atomic number 4 and, you know, it has a 3 positive charge. That means this is a single electron species. So we want to find out the radius of this one. As we know the, you know, the ground state of the hydrogen, how much is the radius? The ground state of the hydrogen that means R1 of hydrogen will be equal to 0 0.529. So we have to find out the n value for the beryllium that has exactly the same radius. That means 0 0.529 angstroms. So we can use the same equation for the beryllium here. So we know that, you know, for the beryllium you can write it like this. Uh, the radius of the, you know, uh, the nth orbit, right? That, has, that will be equal to 0 0.529. You can say it is like this, you know, 0 0.529 which is the Bohr radius, the radius of the first orbit of the hydrogen, that will be equal to 0 0.529 times n squared here. We have to find this n value here, divided by the atomic number 4, you know, atomic number of the beryllium, which is 4, so divided by the 4. Okay, so we have to just check the n value that has, that is, ex, you know, exactly equal to 0 0.529 angstroms. So, when you solve it, it will be n squared will be, you can say it is 4 times, it will be 4, n squared will be equal to 4, because this will be cancelled out over here and what will be the n value it will be 2 so that means the radius of the second orbit of the beryllium 3 positive ion will be equal to 0 0.529 angstroms okay and that will be equal to the radius of the first orbit of the hydrogen atom okay so that means the n value here is 2 the second shell of the beryllium is you know having the same radius as the uh, the radius of the first orbit of the hydrogen hope you got the concept thanks for watching the video bye for now